Well, I thought I'd add my own two cents into the uh, Acer Aspire flick screen flicker problem here. Um, my sister brought this over for me. Uh, seems like I'm always the one who gets this kind of work. Um, but yeah, as you uh, open the cover um, here, open and close, you uh, you get a terrible screen flicker. Uh, after watching a few other YouTube uh, YouTube videos, I saw where uh, the problem seems to stem from a bad cable from here to here. Uh, apparently, there's some kind of stress or some kind of wear right here. Now, uh, of course, once I opened it up, it was still flickering, and once I touched the cable, uh, these cables, it stopped the screen flicker. But I'm sure from from the evidence from other people this will end up acting up again at some point in time. So I'm going to pull into this a little bit more to see if I can get a get a hard uh, reason for it uh, on, on this particular unit. And I'll be back. Um, I'll get into the screws and all that kind of stuff afterwards, but I'll be back. Bye. Well, I'm back, and I managed to get the rest of the uh, surround off here, um, which is a, kind of a pain in the butt trying to get it off. Uh, but here, it appears, I don't know whether you can see, uh, this is a cable that runs through the hinge here. And uh, once I pulled this apart, uh, the flickering here stopped. And I can't get it to flicker again. But you can see where there's a wire right here. As, it, uh, as the hinge opens and closes, it's right on the hinge line here, the plastic. So, uh, as a matter of fact, over at this end here, uh, here's another cable that's actually pinched within here, but that's another story. To get this surround off, that was a major pain in the butt, too. Um, I had to take this uh, speaker arrangement out to get to the screws that are down right at the hinge line, where you can't even open it up wide enough to get to it. Really not a really pleasant thing to work on. Um, so I'm going to uh, manage to put some tape around this. Hopefully it'll keep it from uh, rubbing or twisting or torquing or whatever it happens to be doing. But I haven't been able to get it to flicker again to save my life. And I'll get back with you in a few minutes. Bye. Okay, uh, what I sort of did, I don't know if you could tell, I just sort of, since that plastic shroud goes over here, the plastic cover, uh, Sort of put some insulation, sort of it'll rub against. This is a sort of uh, what do you call it? Uh, one of those plastic bags that you'd get uh, electronic parts in. It seems to be pretty uh, uh, tough material, so hopefully that'll take the beating rather than the cable. Uh, and on this other side here, I got to do something there too. I don't know if you can see it. I'll add a little more light. Um, there was some. Uh, where to the antenna cables here too. I don't know if you can see that, but that's another thing I'm going to end up um, trying to do something to protect that. It rides on this hinge here, the uh, spring-loaded hinge here. So, um, yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so what I did was I just sort of wrapped that spring-loaded bolt here with, again, that heavy-duty uh, plastic and um, sort of taped over that little guy right there. Um, also back over here, this was routed around here to give it a little more slack. I moved that off, so we'll see if that uh, that helps. Okay, Okay, I'm back again. Just a couple of the little notes. Um, we have this um, you know, top cover here with all the switches and indicators on it. Um, power switch and whatnot. Uh, these little things, I had a little rough time getting that, or figuring out how to open it up, uh, but apparently it, all it does is it, is you just get your finger under it and it flips that little guy open and then this thing just pops out. Okay, and then when you're, when you're ready to put it back in, okay, it's even got a little, nice little handle here. That you make sure you slide that all the way in, and I don't know whether you can see it, you slide it all the way into the, uh, given slot here with the pin side down okay got pin side and just 
top side, uh, pin side down, slot bottom it all the way into the connector, and then just flip this little lever down. Okay, and that's how you get those guys out. Uh, the other note I wanted to make note when you're prying this top cover off here, you know, that's a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, it's sort of a hooked, I don't, I don't know that I can actually show you that at all. Let's see if we get a little light on it. Um, it's sort of a, a hooked arrangement. Maybe looking at the top is probably easier. Okay, excuse me for flipping and flopping around here. Um, but you sort of got to, you know, again, it's like a little puzzle box here trying to get in it, but you have to sort of push it in the opposite direction. These little hooks here latch in, so they sort of hook together. You know, it's hard to do with one finger, but they sort of hook the, you know, like that. Um, which, you know, very easy to break these little hooks off. So you sort of got to push push the top piece inward so it unlatches or unhooks. Sort of push down and push with a little screwdriver sort of prying the cover sort of like this. Okay. And you sort of push the inside in. I'll show you once I get this top back on. Uh, it's a pain. But uh, yeah, you can see where it'd be easy to, you know, try to pry it off and you're going to break all these little tabs off. You know, there's there was one, two, three, four, five, six, and then under here, you had to actually, move, or like I said before, move out the speaker so you can get to the four screws that are in between the hinge here, almost impossible to get to. Um, I'll return in a minute. Okay, with the cover back in, I just sort of slipped it down, and as you can see, this is going to be a little, little protected here from the rubbing. And same thing over here. Um, this was sort of rubbing on the bottom part here. That's where it was pinching here, so hopefully that won't be too big of an issue. Now, on the side here, this is, you know, you're not going to see that at all. But again, it's just a matter of snapping it back together all the way around. Okay? And then um, actually replacing the, um, the, the various screws. So I'll get back to you after I've done that. Oh, by the way, um, there is a variety of screws. I try to keep track of them all. Uh, most of them are these uh, longer uh, black screws. They go all the way around the surround. These little silver ones go in the bottom of the... Um, uh, and these little guys here hold the speaker assemblies in. Okay, so... Just uh, well, so since I put the cover back on and forgot to connect the cable for the little camera in here. I'll demonstrate on how to open this thing, pry this thing open. But basically take your little screwdriver and pry it down. That unsnaps it. You see what's happening? So as you go around, I mean that's how you, that's how I managed to get this out of here. So get your screwdriver in here. Okay. Careful not to bust anything. And just prying it down this way, I'll pop it off that, off the little, the hooks. So now that I've done that, I'll put that connector together. Okay. Be back. Oh, and here's another fun job, too, uh, and that is uh, replacing these little uh, rubber uh, stoppers here. Um, and they go in. Let me show you. Uh, they go in these screw holes down in here. Hard, hard to see, but let me see if I can see this one. Screw hole. Fill that one. Uh, you know, take my word for it. They go down in here and uh, sort of wedge shaped and go down. And there's still enough sticky stuff on them to just put them down in there and tap them in place. So now it's just a matter of putting this back on and there's little tabs in the front here. They sort of like seems to just, um, you know, put down in the, I put the front end in first and just swing it down and snap it into place and screw everything back up. I'll be back. Okay, so now here we are. We've got all the various screws. This is what I've got left, all these large screws. And, uh, you know, we've got them basically all around the perimeter here and three inside of the battery case. So 
I'm going to go to town and we'll see what happens. Okay, I just want to correct one thing I just said. It's not all around the perimeter here. It's just these screws right in this area right here that hold that top plate on on the control panel on the other side. Okay. Okay, now we're back and, um, you know, I've played with this thing many, many times. Solid, rock solid now until who knows when. Now the only thing left is we've got these uh, screw holes up here which need these little plastic uh, covers on. And that's it. So, and that goes all the way around. So, that should be it. Good luck if uh, you're trying this on your own. I know I uh, didn't particularly like it. Bye-bye.